guys, it is Abby. We are still in our waterfront spot. Um, thought I'd shoot one more video just because I'm a fan of the water. I like the water. I like the lake. I grew up on Lake Erie. So that was my home. And I spent many a summer up on those beaches and lakeshore and I loved it. And that probably instilled my passion for being on the water and beaches. So yeah, one more on the water and then we'll hit another spot in the park or maybe another park. Who knows? We'll see. Got lemons today. So today, um, our video is what beverages pair best with your smoke. Um, I went through and did a little research because I know I enjoy coffee and wine usually with my smoke. Um, so I wanted to find out a little more and I thought I would share it with you what I found. Um, there seem to be lots of different variations um, with different cigarettes. Um, you all know I drink the coffee, the wine, the water, the Arnold Palmer half and half tea. I like tea and lemonade and of course my beloved Diet Coke. Um, so I looked around and looked at what some of the experts, the Google gods, said <laughs> as far as what beverages pair well with what. So um, with cigarettes and tobacco, according to various websites, because I really had to dig for ones that went well with cigarettes, um, I found more with information on what pairs well with cigars than cigarettes. But anyway, here we go. One thing that went well with cigarettes and tobacco was red wine. Oh my gosh, there's a big giant thing of geese over there. I don't know if you can see it. Here, maybe I'll turn it a little bit. I don't know if you can see those. I just hope they don't come here. I feel like there's a bug. Okay, back to what we're doing. So red wine. Um, in a study, I guess that they did, found that red wine was rich in antioxidants and polyphenols, and that actually reversed the effects of arterial dysfunction caused by smoking. How about that? Maybe I need to switch from my whites and rosés, my sweet wines, to a red. It also said a lager type beer is an ideal pairing with a mild type tobacco. Um, and that others that were considered a good pairing were water, clear fruit juices, flavored waters, lagers, and pilsner beers, dry white wine. Ooh, I do drink that. All right, so I'm good. I'm good and light rums, gin, and vodka. So there you have it. It also said an old-fashioned cocktail is an ideal pair with a medium-type tobacco. Um, others that were considered a good pairing for medium-type tobaccos were enhanced teas, most other fruit juices, amber red beers and ales, heavier white wines and blushes, um, golden rums, lighter scotches, whiskey, lighter liqueurs, and cordials, and most mixed drinks. Bourbon is ideal is an ideal pairing for a more bold type tobacco. Um, others that were considered for bold type tobacco were medium dark roast coffees, dark juices, stouts and porters, um, 
dark rums, full scotch, bourbons, and deep red wines, as we have already mentioned before. And coffee. The elixir of life. Especially in the morning. It says no matter what type of tobacco you smoke, first thing in the morning, a good cup of coffee will always pair well. I concur. However, when smoking late at night, a cup of caffeinated coffee may not be the best choice, um, even if the flavor is right. And it says, although a stiff scotch may not be the best choice to pair with your tobacco in the morning or at lunch, but should instead be enjoyed in the afternoon or evening. With cigars, I found that Cognac, which is a brandy, um, was good with cigars, but apparently not all brandies can be Cognac. Did you know that? Or Cognac. Why do I say Cognac? Cognac. It says it must be produced from a specific type of grape grown in the area that spans the banks of France's Charente River and the shores of the Atlantic Ocean and cognac must also be distilled twice and put in, in copper pots followed by two years in Lamousin or Tronchius oak barrels and the resulting liquor is has a 40% alcohol content. Um, port wines made from grapes only grown in Portugal along the Dor Douro River not sure I said that right sorry guys um, it, which is a sweet wet red wine that was made when the English merchants would add brandy to the wine to reserve the wine for export and the grapes are put into lagers and crushed either or by the foot treading back in the day and unlike most wines doesn't go through a complete fermentation process as adding the brandy to the wine preserving the sweetness and must age a minimum of two years is encouraged but it is encouraged that that age longer if aged in a steel container it maintains its original winey taste and if aged in a small wooden barrel, it takes on more of a nutty taste. Coffee drinks. Um, cigars pair well with coffees like cappuccino, cafe mocha, Cuban coffee, um, cafe con leche. Coffee with Irish cream can go particularly well with a good cigar. Um, another route is to pick up a coffee liqueur. Um, Bailey's on the Rocks is a good pairing with most any cigar, it said. Um, scotch, single malt scotch. Small batch and single barrel bourbons are excellent complements to cigars. Um, the smoky character of a fine single malt taken from the smoked peat to filter the liqueur matches seamlessly with a quality cigar. Small batch bourbons, higher proof levels, and strong flavors match perfectly with medium bodied and full bodied cigars. Rum. This sugar cane derived spirit is a natural partner to cigars. Rum comes from the same geographic regions where cigars are made, so pairing these two together is only natural. These two pair well due to their sweetness and robust flavor, but be cautious when choosing a rum to go with your smoke. Don't pair a cheap rum with a good cigar as it could ruin the experience for you. So there you have it guys and gals. How many different um, 
beverages do you guys use when you're smoking or having a cigar, smoking a cig or having a cigar? Um, yeah, leave it in the comments. Let me know if you know of anything else that pairs real well with um, tobacco or cigars um, that wasn't on the list. If you there's something you drink that's not on the list and you find it goes well, leave it in the comments as well. Um, you all know and see what I usually drink with my cigarettes. Um, don't do cigars. I'm contemplating doing a cigar once I hit 5k subs. Um, so yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and share. Keep the channel growing and maybe, hmm, just maybe when I hit that 5k mark you guys will see me smoking a cigar. And that is all I have for you guys today. Have a great one. See you soon. Bye.